As we talk about computational photography, let's not forget the most basic element of computational photography is still a camera. A camera like this one. This was actually uh, built in the about the mid-1950s uh, and was given to my father by his father and I was lucky enough to get it from my father recently. Uh, this was the first camera I ever used to take my first ever picture. The bottom line with all cameras is they're still the same in principle. What they do is they capture rays of light and get it to a sensor, which could be a digital sensor or film, and that pipeline is then used to create a photograph. In this lecture, we will talk about that pipeline, how rays of light are brought onto a sensor to generate a picture. The most basic example of that camera is a pinhole camera, and the concept of pinhole photography was known even in the early 300 BC. But in about the early 1800s, that was converted into creating cameras. And from there on, a lot more efforts went into building optics and lenses that were then used to create better cameras. In this lecture, we'll talk about the pinhole camera, and we'll talk about the use of lenses to actually get the right kinds of rays of light to the right location so we can actually store images. 